Hello again, a new day, a new project. And as long as I have a few ZPF5189 circuits here, very suitable for uh, LNA amplifiers, I'm going to build me a low noise amplifier for my helium miner. And let's start with a very simple schematic. Plus two diodes like this. Then we go to a capacitor to the ground. Even two capacitors with different, this one like maybe 10 pico and the other one like 10 nano around. Okay. We got the plus here. Then a resistor 20 ohms around. A small coil and this is the plus supply okay this is the output here this is the output here capacitor SMA connector now here we have the circuit 5189Z this is pin number three pin number two goes to ground also the big radiator pin here I'm gonna have a cell filter at the input and SMA connector that's it it's a very simple schematic very very simple of course maybe I will have a LED diode for notice the the status of the amplifier the most important thing is that this kind of uh, devices, they are usually working with 70 milliamps, the original one. I know this, these are fakes. So we're gonna have around 135 milliamps current. It's way too much. With these two diodes here and with this resistor, I can limit to 125 maybe, and the voltage will go from 5 volts to approximately 4 volts and uh, 120 125 milliamps it's perfect I mean it's working without problems now let me let me find me a piece of uh, board and I think I'm gonna use double double uh, sided board maybe I have a small piece already okay maybe something like this but let's presume that this is the board here all I have to do is just to dig some isolating uh, traces it's very simple first of all let me have the input so let's say we have a line right here let me see one of the con little connectors okay so i need to carve this like this the connector will be until here that's the position for the connector then here we can have the filter the small filter it's smaller in fact so we have to split it there i'm gonna have the transistor right here so pin one middle pin and pin number three all i have to do is to cut two lines in the middle here okay that's the joint okay and then we have the capacitor output and of course the connector so the in fact the board can be something like this now this is ground let me have the plus going up here and we have the first diode the second diode plus connection there here we can have the capacitors and another capacitor to the ground here i can have one of the resistors like this and from here to here we got the coil here i have the resistor here i have the let me see the first diode and the second diode first diode here okay we can go like this diode there second diode here then from here i have the resistor 
then I have the okay I can get rid of this then I can have the coil and down and this is can be ground 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 all around so it's plenty of place for having uh, for having the okay another resistor here from plus evidently and here I can plant the LED. LED. Alright? Very, Very simple. simple. Okay. okay. I, I need, need to, to cut, cut this. this. Yes, and, and there, there we go. go. The this will stay like this. this. I, I can, can clearly, clearly start, start with the signal tray. This is very, very nice because, because it's double-sided, double -sided, so I have a lot of the signal signal ground. ground. I have the plus, plus and, and plus up, up here. here. This, this is have a second, second one. one. No, no, I, I can, can use, use my Dremel, Dremel to do that, that. but, but uh, I found much, I found much, much more, 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 Precise using a, a screwdriver like you see the first trace is done and I can fit the filter right here it's perfect and the cap output capacitor there all right let me have the other guys So I'm going to have the plus connection, plus connection the first diode, and I have the transistor here, here. Okay. Okay. and this one too. I need another one here. Another one here. here. This, so this is, is out. the out. This is, this is, not, this is not a fancy project. project. It's just it's an amplifier that, that will work. Will work. Like Something like this. Let me check. Let me check the tresses or the sectors. Beautiful. So that's the board. It's done. Now we have to start populating the board. Okay, so no LED for now. I'm just wasting time. Let me have the final touch. And that means uh, it's no filter. Now, this goes here. Okay, so it's looking like the amplifier is uh, done, ready to go for testing. First, we're going to try to see um, the reference point or the reference signal from the attenuator, so nano VNA and attenuator. Okay, let me turn on. Okay, we should have 20, oh come on, 21, 21.8 it's normally, oh yes, 21.89, let's write this number down, minus, that's the attenuator, okay. 
Now let's have the amplifier hooked. Okay, first I have to check the current. Very important. So I'm gonna have K weights on milliamps mode and in series with the power supply. 93.5, perfect current, perfect, very good. 93.5 milliamps, of course. All right, it's looking good for now. So let's check the voltages. Here is the input. Oh, volt. 4.963, perfect. After the diode, point for, point, point, okay, 4.091. And to the transistor, we have 4.075. Perfect. Well, it's looking good, like numbers, of course. And now let me check the, the input, we should have like 2 kilo ohms, 2.9 kilo ohms, and at the output we should have like uh, 3 ohms or something, 3.7, everything looks fine, everything looks fine. So I see no reason why not having a working amplifier, okay? Get ready for the signals now. Channel zero output. Okay. Maybe I should try to have it here first. Oh, when I need another cable. Yes. We already have a shape a bell shape on nano VNA. Let me turn off the light to have a better view. Yeah. Okay, we don't need this. And power on. Okay, so it's looking like we got results. Minus four. And people, we can bet on 11.04 minus 11.02 dB. That's the amplification. It's solid, it's stable. Let's do this 21.85 minus 11. We have an amplification at 10.83. 10 10.83 dB. This is a perfect amplifier, working amplifier. Okay, so that's it for today. You see, it's an interesting uh, project and it's working. It can be used. I'm gonna put it on my antenna right now. And uh, if you have any comments, write them down, any question too, I do the best to answer. Don't forget, like, subscribe and uh, of course, have fun. Bye-bye.